finely crafted instrument of butchery and bloodshed. Yours for the taking. Yeah, remember how I said, um, this game seems to have way more positive town events? Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Yeah, wow. So, unfortunately, um, what was it? The last upgrade we got was a free building and we upgraded ar uh, armor instead of weapons? Mm-hmm. Kind of regret that now. Like, I couldn't have predicted this either way, but still, right. it would have been a lot better to go, go weapons than uh, armor. Especially when someone in the thread actually told me that, um, like, tier 2 and tier 4 weapons give you a speed buff, so it would have been a little bit better in the long run to get weapons over armor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I don't have enough deeds to upgrade the weaponsmith. I kind of wish you could, uh, I don't know, store town events for when you actually could use them. That would be a little too easy, but yeah, that'd be nice. A little bit, yeah. Also, since we um, since we drove Great King Evil King over the edge, we gotta find some way to accommodate him. And I don't have enough anything to upgrade any of the uh, the uh, what's it called stress restoration areas. Well, I mean, you focused more on getting money than actually getting heirlooms, so that's pretty much your own fault. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. You gonna cure the Black Plague? I think so, yeah, because I don't think any of Loon's, uh... I don't think any of Loon's, uh, what's it called? Traits are debilitating. Mm -hmm. So right now we're just gonna get rid of the Black Plague. Yeah. That's generally, like, the one thing I always get rid of. Yeah, what's as it? As soon as I can. It's, like, minus 5 speed and then, uh, like, 15% HP? It's something like that, plus, like, bleed and, uh... Light resist debuffs, I believe. Yeah, I usually don't mind those though. They're not as bad as the negative speed and HP. Eh, if you say so, I'd rather have my guys not get blighted. Hmm. Hard to say, honestly, because I, I honestly don't mind the DOTs so long as they're not like getting punched in the neck. But mm -hmm. sometimes having the resist is better in general. So where are we going now? I believe right now I'm kind of debating where I want to uh, where I want to level up next. Because at this point I'm thinking I want to show off all the bosses in one big like splurge. So right. I want to level up all the other dungeons to level two because that's when the first wave of bosses approach is uh, level up. Or wait, what did I say? I don't know what the hell you just said. I, I didn't get any sleep, so apologize that this recording is basically <laughs> rambling. Basically, when the when when the bar below the uh, name of the dungeon fills up, you get a new boss. That's what he's trying to say. Yep. And what I want to do is, I've already got a poll set up. I put up a poll at episode seven for the next boss that we're gonna see, and people want me to fight the hag of all things. Fuck. Hey, I I voted for the siren. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to look out for you. <laughs> but yeah, I ha at basically at the end of all these recordings, I will have. The first boss for the Warrens, the Weld, and the Cove will be set up, and then once we finish these episodes, the next ones will be just boss fight after boss fight after boss fight. But until then, I'm basically getting people stronger, trying to get more loot, trying to get money, basically getting everybody prepared for the next, uh, the next jump in difficulty, which is going to be the Hag. Because, yeah. quite frankly, the Hag is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Oh, easily, yeah. Really, all the bosses in the wield, I think, are just the worst. I don't know, the alternate boss is not too bad, but... I disagree. Right now, I'm basically preparing my next team to go. Because I got a lot of money, and uh, you know what you do with money? You spend it. Or you sit on it and build a giant vault. It goes swimming like Scrooge McDuck. I mean, yeah, if that were a thing in this. It's what I believe my... my uh, now, this is a dilemma does. I'm facing right here. That's a good accessory. You don't have the money to go spending willy-nilly like that. That's a really good accessory, though, Chitlin. You... you can get that easily. 
I know, but it's so good. If I could it's, guarantee it, it's like right there, but I decide... It's just a feather crystal, just leave it. I decide against it, though, because yeah. it's it'll put me way in the bottom, and I just don't like that, but it's such a good accessory. Like, eight dodge is okay, two speed is fantastic. It's okay. And I also decided to make Gluck Gluck a tank. Really? Hard Noggin is a good trait to lock just in general. Because she doesn't have a lot of HP, so reducing that damage is still good. Yeah. Now I thought uh I thought about it, but I thought against giving uh Selnar his mentor's head. That'd be a little too weird. Oh, but giving Dismas his own head is perfectly fine? Yeah. I don't understand you. I don't know. I do things weird on, on the cuff. Now, the reason why I'm keeping two uh, Churgen sh charms, I still can't pronounce it right, but the thread actually had like a Copa pose like it's supposed to pronounce, like Surgeon, but with Chi instead of a uh, Sir. Yeah, I, I was reading those posts and I still don't know exactly which pronunciation is correct because there are like three of them. I think it's but, Churgen, uh, because... Churgen? Yeah, Churgen sounds a lot like Surgeon, which makes it feel more like an organic evolution. I, hmm. I was going to say Chi-Urgen, but that sounds stupid. Yeah. Now, we're going to the wheel, and I'm actually bringing holy water, because Corrupt I kind of want to gamble with it. Sapping all good life from these groves. <laughs> okay. Let us Figure why the fuck not. Evil. And this, this run actually is kind of disappointingly easy. To be fair, like I don't think anything truly goes wrong here, unlike last time we were here. Well, uh, I mean, you're, you you are still in the you know, newbie area yeah. of the wheel. Still in the baby Shit. phase. <laughs> Shit has not yet hit the fan, so no, but money has. No. What the hell are those spiders doing with those gems? I don't know, dude. Also, I'm trying out- I'm showing off a, uh, I wouldn't say new, uh, new Vestal skill, but I would say an alternate skill. It's Illumination. What it does is, is it's an attack spell. I believe it has full range. You can only use it in the back rows. It does 50% less damage, but it gives you Torchlight, and it also reduces dodge. Now, I kind of have a weird, um, mentality with this. I really don't think anything that reduces dodge is any good? Are you fucking kidding me? Just hear me out here. Um, uh, oh, I'd love to hear this. The main issue is that you're going to be using dodge reducing things on things that have naturally high dodge to begin with. So yeah. it's still a crapshoot to begin with if you land the skill and then they have the resistance. So I basically have to go through two bars of uh, proxy if I land the thing. It's good when it hits, but I find it, like, not as good as, say, Anti-Prot, which is going to remove something substantially instead of might not. Well, yeah, but if you're going up against uh, enemies like, uh, I'd say, the Batman or something, lowering their dodge is a godsend. Oh my god. Yeah, it's, it's a good skill. I just don't find myself using it much just because I'm always afraid, oh... They have the dodge anyways, I might miss it and then it'll be a wasted turn. They have a 14 heal from Albus Vestal. That's pretty good. Yeah, double healing items. Really good. That book is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a weird mindset I have. It's not I wouldn't say it's necessarily necessarily correct, because negative dodge is a good thing. It's just a matter of if it hits, which kind of frustrates me. Because I feel like whenever I use a move specifically to counter dodge, the enemy always seems to dodge it. So at this point, I'm, uh, again, kind of questioning why you brought up Plague Doctor to be weird, of all things. Destroy. No real reason. I kind of wanted to level up Strange Matter more than anything. I mean, yeah, but... Blight skills are not good here. <laughs> I'm mainly bringing her for the stun because I'm in I'm anticipating shit like the uh, the double artillery mushrooms, the double uh, yeah. cultists. Okay. 
Like, I fully expect the Blight not to work, but I still do it just because, hey, it's more potential damage. I suppose. Like, it's not a good idea to bring a Plague Doctor here. Well, I know why I brought him, because... I bought her for the stun, Nature and I brought her for the blight heal. Victim to the spreading corruption. Right, 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 right. With her intent. offense, though, is primarily uh, blight, and I could have... Um, what I could have done is swap the Vestal and the Plague Doctor's position and give the Plague Doctor uh, incision. Also, hmm. here's a poetic bit of irony oh. here. Hmm. Well. All right, then. Rabies is an interesting perk that has had a weird evolution of, like, nerfing and meta tactics. Way back in the day during the heyday of early access, Rabies was 15 damage for the low price of negative 5 accuracy. Now this was pretty good because negative 5 accuracy is easily countered. And what people would do is they would actively give people like the Hellion or the uh, Leper rabies just so you can min-max your damage to ridiculous degrees. And because of that, yep. uh, Red Hook... See, this is why I don't like... Uh, that's precisely why I don't like uh, Illumination, because that happens. Like, I wanted to reduce your dodge so other people could hit, hit them, but then uh, I didn't get to hit anyway, so it didn't fucking matter. Oh, uh, yeah. Yay, more slimes. Yep. Luckily, this is not as going to be as bad a run. But anyways, as I was saying, um... I believe... Like... Way, like... Down to the wire before release, Red Hook actually nerfed uh, Rabies to be negative 10 accuracy as opposed to negative 5, which is a lot harder to remove. So now Rabies is more of a debilitating thing than a minor inconvenience, possibly a best, the best way to min-max your characters. Which is good, quite honestly. I, uh... Because A, I also used to exploit rabies, and B, it does feel kind of weird that you're exploiting a disease. Yeah. Kind of like how it's weird that I managed to poison a slime. Back to the pit. No, I mean, that's just... It's just what it is, man. I mean, I'm, I'm more, uh... Wondering how you can make what is essentially this world's version of a ghost bleed, but, I mean, that's just... <laughs> Look, it's bleeding ectoplasm. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. Now, this is a big reason why I like to bring shovels to the Warrens. Wield. wield. Yes, wield. <laughs> <laughs> I always get those two mixed up, what the fuck? But yeah, um, the wield is a kind of messed up place to where it has a lot of wall spawns, more than any level in the entire game, but it also has areas that exploit shovels, so I try to max out my shovels whenever I come down here. Mm. I remember I saw a screenshot once of a hallway that had three blockages in it. Oh my god, what? Yeah. No. I think that might have been a glitch, because I've never seen anything like that, but... Yeah, yeah, probably. So here's an interesting thing to note. Logical Fallacy, our Plague Doctor, is pretty good at doing DOTs, but, um... <laughs> I haven't once upgraded his skills. Oh. So I could have killed that, uh... That Highway Swordsman... Highwayman Swordsman. I really easily could have, but I, uh... It didn't. Well, I actually do, but it takes two bombs instead of one. As the enemy crumbles. I'm pretty sure it would take two no matter what you did. Yeah, possibly. But I mean, unless you could... Um, unless you've upgraded the skill to the point where it does like five ticks of damage. Which I don't think you can until... Uh, apprentice rank? Or... Or a uh, veteran, I mean. I believe once you hit level two, it goes to five damage, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Either way, just even by base value, the blight on the Plague Doctor does a lot of work. Oh, yeah. Like, it's incredible how good the DOT is now. Now, I've kind of learned my lesson. I'm trying to get more, uh, 
heirlooms now rather than gold. Combine the torch stack. Thank You're right! Why the hell didn't it do that? What the fuck are you doing?! It's just one torch, but like, why didn't the, t why didn't the torches stack? Oh, I know why I didn't do it. You picked up one when you had eight. Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, another one. Oh, good. That's actually probably gonna get sold. <laughs> eh. I believe I scouted this area and then I realized there's no secret, so whatever. I mean, there's still the possibility of, like, running into luggage. I have anti-venom for that. Yeah, but keys work just as well. Keys work just as well, but it's the same reward, so if I'm gonna free up inventory space, I'm gonna free up the one that I could use more than once. Or I'm gonna free up the one that I... I'm gonna keep the one I use more than once. Wow. I don't know where my brain's at. How are those spiders carrying a shovel? Promises success. This game has a lot of questions. Uh, I think anti-venom is like... No, anti-venom is actually 80, so I was gonna say, if anti-venom was 200, I don't think I'd made a profit off that tree. <laughs> I have no idea what the actual supplies cost. And... After, like, what is this? This is the 10th episode after using a uh, Voltic Surge for like four missions? I finally realize I need to take Cry Havoc off him. <laughs> also, I kind of make a small mistake here. I thought using Holy Water here removes a uh, debuff. It actually gives you a buff at random. Oh. So Selnar is now a mediator. Meditator. Me yeah, meditator. Why does. <laughs> Get good sleep, kids! <laughs> Don't be like me and sleep from 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. I mean, that seems like a reasonable amount of sleep. Oh, man. Oh, good. Good. The dog stack. I love it. So, the dog stack is an interesting encounter. It's not painful by any means, but it has the issue of they have a high crit rate, which could cause stress damage. But more importantly, they cause rabies, and they have high dodge. So this fight isn't bad so much as really fucking frustrating. Yep. Not quite as bad as the fish stack, but... No, nowhere near as bad as the fish stack. In fact, I think this is, quite frankly, an easy encounter. It's just fucking boring. Yeah, it's really just... The high dodge that, that kills you, the fact that they almost always go first, unless you have like a super fast team. Pretty much. It's just a matter of, oh, I missed. Good, the fight's gonna go on for two more fucking turns. Great. I really don't like the dogs, mainly because I don't like dodge tanks. Fighting an enemy that could just say no always feels mean to me. But whatever. We actually do have a decent team of taking care of them. While these uh, dogs don't get affected by Mark, having a repost is basically a free attack, so that's something good to have on this fight. However, these dogs hate religion. For the slightest <laughs> lapse in concentration. I I I I always forgot that the uh, Plague Doctor's fall. Battlefield Medicine also cures the Plague Doctor of any bleed. <laughs> and as like, well as the person you use it on, yeah. It's a very wonderful thing and feels great when you get value out of it, but I also have the habit of not using it until there is a situation where I get the value. Hmm. So don't think like me, just fucking use it when you need it. Now this is a glitch. This is a glitch right here. How, how is that a glitch? That's not supposed to happen. This is actually a intended glitch. The treasure chest causes bleed. However, for whatever reason, that chest shares a uh, has a Do weird glitch ratio where oftentimes it will be considered bravo. lost luggage Put and then the anti-venom will work. There is a 50-50 chance that that will work and it is a known glitch. It just hasn't been fixed yet. Huh. It's really fucking weird. 
but it worked out in my favor there. Now, I'm not a huge fan of any... Well, we'll discuss it next time, but yeah. Stout is an interesting skill that I'm not a huge fan of, and we'll detail that next episode. See ya! See ya!